All right, so let's graph some of this data that we have developed through our running a car down a incline. So if you take a look at the data table, there are only four columns that I'm really interested in. This position of photo gate from the dark mark, these numbers, the potential energy, the kinetic energy, and the mechanical energy. So on the second page, right down here, graph template, students copy. If you take a look at it, I've already moved all the numbers position of the photo gate. But now, I need your numbers for PE, KE, and ME. We can do that by holding down the left mouse key on our first potential energy, dragging down, you'll see you get this blue box, and then also dragging to the right. The fact that all these numbers are in the blue box means that these are the numbers that we are going to copy. And you can hit Control c on your keyboard, or you can double-click and select the copy feature. Then I'm going to move to the template, I'm going to put my cursor in this cell, B2, and I'm going to paste it, or uh, double-click and hit Paste. Now all my numbers are transferred to the template that's going to help me build a graph. Okay, next I'm going to highlight all of these numbers and include the labels. I'm going to go to, and you, you have this blue box around it, meaning these are the numbers we're going to graph. I'm going to insert chart. Now this is one way you can get a chart, but actually there's a button over here, insert chart as well. When you do that, you get this graph. It kind of looks a little bit goofy at the moment, but we're going to fix that in a minute. You can see that it's graphed P, E, K, E, and M, E, but it's done it with these column graphs. First off, let's change that. So in the chart editor over here, chart type, I'm going to move it from a column chart to let's select the smooth line chart. Okay, pretty good. I'm beginning to understand a little bit more. But I need to put numbers on this axis, and this is how I do it. If you look over here in the chart editor again, the x-axis, it's looking for information. This grid to the right here allows you to select x-axis. When you click it, it, it asks you what data. And So I want to graph this information. Cool, and when I do, I get numbers along the bottom here. All right, so uh, this is almost a good chart, but I need to tell my audience something about this axis and something about this axis, and then actually I should really fix the title a little bit. This is how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to the Customize button, and I'm going to select Chart and Axis Titles. When I do that, I get this drop-down menu, and Type, Chart Title, comes up. Now actually, if I select, I can uh, choose lots of things, but the chart title is the first thing I want to fix. And right now it says the title of the text is PE in joules, KE in joules, and ME in joules. And actually it shows up right here. I want to fix that because I want to include the, the phrase position of photo gate. B, S, dot. And so that says position of the photo gate versus P, E, K, E, and M, E. And you'll see that it's changed it here in the uh, graph. Cool. Next, I need to label what is this axis. And if you take a look, the numbers run from 0 to 0.6, but these are my energies. So in order to label that axis, I'm going to go back to the chart title, and I'm going to change it to my vertical axis. And I'm going to tell people that, hey, this is energy. And the units that we measure it in is joules. And once again, you'll see that it lines up here. 
Now I need to tell people about what this axis is about. It needs a label. So I'm going to go back to my type. I'm going to change to horizontal axis. And I'm going to say that this is position of photo gate. and the unit's meters. And you'll see that position of photo gate is here. At this point, you have a very nice graph. So I'm going to exit out of my chart editor. And what's cool is uh, I can move this graph so that I could see the data and the graph at the same time. So I'm going to take my cursor, put it in the white part of this graph, left click once and you see how I got this blue box around the graph now I think when I hold down my left mouse key I can drag that graph off to the side so that I can see the graph and the raw data as well if I want I can make it a little bit bigger so it fills up my screen and it's easier to read at this point you can do lots of things with this graph by accessing these three dots here including copy your chart so that you can paste it into your lab. Good luck!